Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, welcome. This is Amaya Corpse for, for you. you. My name is Anya. And I'm Amelia. In today's video, we will be making an origami fortune teller to help us with high stress levels and high anxiety levels. The goal of the origami fortune teller is to help us find ways in coping with stress or anxiety um, and to help us kind of get through some tough times if you're experiencing some tough times. For the materials, we are going to be using paper. I'll show you guys right now white sheets of paper. You can also use construction paper or colored paper if you'd like. We have an assortment of markers. We also have a pen, you know, if you want to use a pen, markers, pencils, crayons, whatever you want to use. We have scissors. We're using adult scissors, but if you are a child, please use uh, child safety scissors. These are the safest, and when you're using scissors, be uh, cautious and make sure an adult is around or a supervisor or guardian. And then we just have our origami fortune teller instructions. We found these online, uh, but we will post the link to where we found these in the description so you guys can just, you know, click on there and find it yourself, or you can look it up on Google. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started. What is stress? Stress is the feeling of being overwhelmed or unable to cope with emotional pressure. Some stress can be negative, some stress can be positive, but in today's video, we're gonna emphasize on helping ourselves cope with negative stress. Some examples of negative stress can be worrying about school, worrying about sports, friendships, relationships, and also family challenges that you might be experiencing within your household. What is anxiety? Anxiety is prolonged stress when you're fearful and worrisome about the emotional pressures that were mentioned before. There are physical symptoms of anxiety such as fatigue, stomach aches, and headaches. And anxiety overall is just feeling uneasy about change and leading to fear about your emotions. Why breathing consciously is important. Staying aware of your breathing can send a signal to the brain to adjust the parasympathetic branch of the nervous system, which is responsible for the body's rest and digestive response when the body is relaxed, resting, or feeding. This encourages the heart rate to slow down, promoting feelings of calmness. Doing mindful activities is helpful to feel grounded and in the moment. So the first thing she's gonna do is the four by four by four, and then we're gonna do the four, seven, eight. So you can follow along with us as we demonstrate our breathing techniques with you guys. Ready? Yeah. Ready, one, two, three. Hold. Out. Hold. In. Hold. Out. Giving yourself a moment to speak about what you are feeling can help you better understand the problem and how to address it with your parents or someone who you trust. This can be a friend, a family member, or a teacher. Remember, it is okay to have uneasy feelings, but you don't have to fear them. How can being creative help with stress or anxiety? Creating art, professional or otherwise, allows us to disconnect from stress, express inner thoughts, and even meditate. 
The next item we have on our flap is journaling. Journaling can help you organize thoughts, clear your mind, facilitate problem solving, and gain perspective. Journaling can reduce stress by serving as an escape or emotional release of negative thoughts and feelings. I personally keep a journal on me at most times in case I need to write down a thought that I need to remember or um, just organize my thoughts and my feelings so that I can process them correctly. Doing something proactive can help distract us and research has shown that walking or getting active promotes the release of brain chemicals called endorphins that stimulate relaxation and improve our mood. Walking does not have to be done at a fast pace to have stress relieving benefits. Water has natural calming properties and when you drink water it can be very soothing and often your body will benefit from the added hydration during times of intense stress. So if you're really feeling stressed out and you really can't calm down, try your breathing techniques but also drink a glass of water and kind of just focus your energy on the in the moment versus on what is going on that you may not be able to control in the moment. All right, well, that brings us to the end of our craft. We hope you enjoyed and learned something that you didn't know before. We hope these coping strategies can help you de-stress and take a break. And remember to speak up so you can bring awareness. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel. And remember to wash your hands, wear your mask, and stay safe. Bye. Bye.